little chilly this morning standing up here on this bridge <laughs> we camped right here on the river once again another river another camp spot i am loving this this part of the country is stunning we're gonna be going from hartleton pennsylvania to cedar run uh, 120 130 miles something like that from my campsite to where we're going tonight. Tonight's campsite is gonna be right on the trail, which is gonna be great. Hopefully it's another beautiful spot like this. I have a feeling it's gonna be. This is day eight of the Mid-Atlantic BDR. Can't believe it's getting close to the end. Bike needs another bath already. Are you ready to experience adventure? Let's ride. All right, leaving this campground and gonna head, what, north, west? I don't even know. I'm just gonna follow these tracks here. I've got these tracks that I put into the GPS and I just follow that line, but actually I'm not to the, to the starting point. So I've gotta kinda retrace my steps and go back to where I should be to get back on the trail. So I gotta go back to Hartleton and fuel up and then hop on the trail and go, ooh, it's cold this morning. In the 40s, I'm gonna put these heated grips on and make my life a little more comfortable. All right, we back on it. in the world it just looks like somebody just painted this it just doesn't even look real what a cool spot I mean this so they've already got firewood stacked up for you <laughs> you could camp here I guess but look at this just how these are turning red even out here Wow, where am I? Some sort of paradise. I mean, this feels like some kind of movie set that I just stepped into. Yeah, I don't believe this is the right way. I think I'm supposed to take the next right, not this one. Although this one looks cool, but I don't think this is the right way. That's a dead end, you said? It goes back to our, to our cabin. Uh, there's supposed to be a road right here? Or? Yeah, if you can go Spruce right Run on the road. Go up, here, go up here about an eighth of a mile, and the Spruce Run Road will jump off on this side. Ah, uh, yep. okay. Yeah, you'll see it. It's, I saw a bunch of guys yesterday, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you're not watching coming down, you'll drive right by it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your help, man. No problem, man. Well, I guess everybody gets it wrong here. They said they talked to some other riders that did the same thing I did. So I gotta go back here about an eighth of a mile, he said, and take a left. This has gotta be it. Spruce Run Road, I think is what I'm looking for. Yeah, this is it, no doubt. Okay, so now I'm on the right road. The thing about these GPX files on a GPS is it's not telling you where to turn. It's just a line that you have to visually look at and keep the bike on the line. So if you get off track, the GPS is not telling you, hey, you missed your turn. The line just disappears because it's way over there. So you kind of have to search and figure out where you missed it and go back. So it's kind of common to kind of, you know, miss 
miss one of these little roads. A lot of times I'm caught up in just like looking at all the the sights and the scenery. I just kind of forget to look at the GPS or look for my turn. But see, I don't care. I prefer it that way. <laughs> I get to see a little bit more, experience a little bit more. So no problem. Each day just gets better and better. This is incredible. Like it's in full, in full color, full change. So I spent a lot of time in RV parks. That's where we spend most of our nights. And while we're there, we meet a lot of people, a lot of retired people who are in an RV and they're just traveling around, living the retired life. And a lot of them are curious about what I'm doing. And so they begin to kind of ask questions, of course. And here's something that I keep hearing from them. They keep saying things like, I wish I would have done that when I was younger. Do it while you're young or, you know, those kinds of things. And so this idea of like getting out and experiencing adventure, in some ways you kind of have to take advantage of it while you can. When's the best time to plant a tree? Many, many years ago. When's the next best time? today. <laughs> adventure is the same way. When's the best time to start experiencing adventure? Many years ago. When's the next best time? I think we have to get out and do it. As I talk to these older men, there's a, there's a certain amount of regret in some of them as I hear in their voices. Just they wish they would have chosen to do more when they were younger. And now they are either not healthy enough or just in a spot where they can't do some of the things that they kind of have dreamed of. So I'm very blessed to be able to go and adventure the way I'm doing it. It's a big world. There's a lot to see. There's a lot to do. We just got to get out there and do it. Hey, how's it going? Good, what a beautiful spot, huh? I, I don't think there's anything up here prettier than this site right here. This is just beautiful. This is incredible. Yeah. Where are y'all from? Pennsylvania, right? Okay. Here, Lewisburg. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, are you from Pennsylvania? No, Nashville. Uh, oh my gosh, you know, you know about beauty in Nashville, yeah, then, too. Yeah, but this is special. This is yeah. great, and yeah. I'm riding dirt roads from Tennessee to New York. Are you really? Yeah, doing the BDR, the Backcountry Discovery Route. So okay. coming right through here and. I was hoping to time it with the leaves changing just right. You well, know, you it's kind it. of precise. No, you nailed it. Yeah. You did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. day eight on this route. Okay. Psh, today is unbelievable. Yeah. Well, I'm almost envious of you right now. <laughs> I <really am. laughs> You've got a trip of your life right here. This is this is fantastic. Yeah. 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 I'm glad there's people like you out here still doing this to enjoy it like this. It doesn't get prettier than this. It really doesn't. Yeah. I mean, this is my goal is to experience adventure and just soak it up, yeah. see everything that the world has to offer. And this is obviously no exception. This is really special. Yeah, it is. It's great. When I wrap this up, I've got one more day. Well, after, so tomorrow's my last day of riding. It's about 1,100 miles. Uh, I'll fly to Greece oh and do a gosh. loop in Greece. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Fantastic. Yep. And I'll do a... Uh, I'll ride the, the footsteps of Paul, like the Apostle Paul, yeah. and go to the, the historical locations. Yeah, good, we're good, going good. to um, Israel next month. No way. Mm -hmm. Have you been before? No. Oh my gosh. Bethlehem, no. Jerusalem, the Dead Sea. Let me tell you, it is one of the best places in the world. Okay. For so many reasons. Yeah. I mean, ob the obvious reasons. Yeah. I mean, if you're you're Christian. Yeah. Christian, yeah. Yep. So, I mean, it's so like... It's a, it's it's the the foundation. Like when you read the scriptures, you're in that spot. You're like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When Jesus, you know, came into town, it's like, well, you know, he walked right here. It's right just where you're at. It's yep. wild. I don't mean to take this lightly. I, I mean, running into you, a, a younger guy out here riding all over the countryside proclaiming Christ, is really encouraging because you don't you don't think about that happening in today's world. Yeah. You just don't. It, it's 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 a. It's a good platform you're on right now. I think every one of us is called to do ministry. We're all missionaries. It's just the context and how and the intention.
Yeah. I think if every, because every person's wired for something. Like you're interested in something, you have a hobby, you're good at something, you're an expert at something. Mm -hmm. Everyone, everyone on the planet has something, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if every person kind of started with finding common ground and building Christ-centered community out of that, we yeah. would change the world. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, in a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. What a kind couple that I just met. And they felt compelled to pray for me, which I thought was pretty amazing. Anytime somebody wants to pray for me, rock on. We pray, Lord, that we would continue to use what you've given us to honor and glorify your name, Lord. We thank you for meeting this young Christian today, Lord. And uh, we pray that you would be watchful over him as he travels. And we thank you for his presence in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the best restaurant I've been to in a long time. It's got a great view. Food's good. Uh, teriyaki peppered beef jerky today. A perfect day. There's definitely a chill in the air today. It's like there's cloud cover. It's a little darker, but also like it's much cooler now than it has been in the first part of the day. Okay, so this place here is called Woolrich. It's an outdoor clothing company that's been around since 1830. Let's go check it out. All right, I don't need a jacket. So uh, I guess I'm not gonna buy anything in here today. We just want to come and see. What is this? So this is from 1930. And I figured out what these things are finally. Spools. Never pass a gas station. That's the rule out here. The temperature's dropping as the sun's starting to go down. <laughs> I'm freezing. Why? Because I ate a gallon of ice cream right as the sun started going down out here. <laughs> Cause and effect. Okay, let's get out of here. Definitely off the beaten path now. Back here on this road, you can tell there's a lot less traffic come down here. And that's the way I like it. Take me to where most people don't go. I'm in the last few miles of day eight. Tomorrow begins my last day on this adventure. I'm kind of sad. I mean, this has been such a perfect trip. The weather's been so amazing and everything's just been ideal. I'm kind of sad for it to be over. All right, the dirt road ends, the pavement begins, and we're right here in this little town called Cedar Run. Beautiful little spot. Oh man, right here on the river. Look at this. Okay, I'm never leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move, move into one of these houses. They don't know it yet, but I'm just gonna move in. We'll make some sort of arrangement. How's it going? Everybody knows what I was thinking right there. You know what I was thinking. 
This is the most amazing place yet. Uh, did you know that I'm not leaving? <laughs> so this is my house. Yep. We just moved here to, what's this place called? Cedar Run. Cedar Run. Yep. We just moved here. Let me give you the tour of our new house. Well, same old house. We just moved it. And there's my, yeah, I'll go ahead and show them. There's bed upstairs. It's two story upstairs, downstairs, junk bunk, one bunk, two bunk. All of my charging station. I've got a TV. And this is my living room. And then here's my here's my view. Here's my front yard. Here's my backyard. <laughs> here's my back porch. <laughs> If you're liking these videos, like and subscribe. And go ahead and ring that bell while you're at it. There's a lot more adventure coming.